Sayyidina Umma, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al Hassan Imam al Husayn Sayyidatina Fatima Wa Sayyidina Wa Saddatina Wa Siddiqeen Al Fatiha. Barakha Shafat Ya Rasul Kareem, Ameen. InshaAllah Mubarak Shah Rabbi Al Awwal. That Allah address us from the immensities of the holy birth of Sayyidina Muhammad and the birth of all realities and all blessings and all creation. That all creation coming from the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad may Allah address us, bless us, bless our families and communities for the sake of this love and this ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad and that that love intercede for us and all our shortcomings that Prophet to grant us to be with whom we love. And our life's goal is to increase that love. Fa'auzu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-raheem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself, An abdakul ajisa, da'ifu, miskeen, uzal, and mujahal. But for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah tahseen tilka ayat al-Qur'an wal kitab al-mubeen and that alhamdulillah Allah to dress us from the immensities of this light and reality of tahseen and that that fire of Prophet to enter into our hearts and into our beings. And that Allah's Divinely speech to flow through that flame and through that reality and dress us as He dressed the Prophets of Bani Israel and bless them and bless their nations. That the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad by virtue of their love and ishq for Allah for Prophet and that pious people and those whom they've taught come to remind people and call them back into their Lord's service. And Allah gave to us the greatest gift <clears throat> when we understand the lives of the other Prophets and the stories that Allah gives to us in Holy Qur'an and the analogies then Awliya come into our life to… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan, There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Teach us that all of that was related to Sayyidina Muhammad and then the greatest gift Allah gave to us is this portal, this ability to enter into that presence. The presence that Sayyidina Ibrahim wanted, the presence that Sayyidina Musa wanted, the presence that Sayyidina Adam wanted to return to and whom taught him isma kullaha all the names. Means all the Prophets of Allah what they took from the presence and the reality and the haqqaiqs of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah gave to His holy nation their salah. That as soon as they pray and say, Allahu Akbar, their souls are in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that He is their eternal representative, their eternal Imam. And that all their salam faces that reality and that light and that Prophet intercedes for their salah, intercedes for their actions and if they're good then alhamdulillah presenting them to Allah 
And if there's deficiency in those actions then asking istighfar and asking forgiveness means this is the immensity of that portal, the immensity of that opportunity and that's why then Islam's pillar of salah is the difference between belief and disbelief. That's the importance that Allah put upon it means that many, many sins can be done and the servant makes istighfar and forgiveness and Allah ghafoor raheem. But the unaction that takes the servant out of Islam is the leaving behind of their salah. And that's because now we understand and we should understand it's the immensity of that light and that opportunity that Allah gave to us. That when you leave the salah you leave the greatest gift that Allah gave to be present in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Means the cooling of the azan testifying to the oneness of Allah and to the oneness and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad There is no other rasul that has the nearness and dearness to Allah there's nothing like unto Sayyidina Muhammad And by calling that azan Allah dressing and blessing us and the reply for the one whom is rising to prayers, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi aliyul azeem That I have no help and no power to do anything if Allah doesn't grant me that ability to pray. And the knowledge of awliya is teaching us the reality of that salah that Allah gave says that for us to awaken all nations were begging for something from the presence of the Divine whether they knew, didn't know, Allah knows best if that was from Prophet but they wanted something, yearned for something yearn for a presence and a reality and Allah gave it to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad the greatest gift that every time you make your salah your souls enter into that presence, into that fire, into that reality. And that's the immensity of Islam and this is the religion of Allah the deen of Allah Means the immensity of the one whom prays enters into the presence of that fire. Because the arwah and the soul of Prophet is present and when a light enters into a light it diffuses and mixes into that light. And with all that's been understood that we're in the presence of that Divinely Heart that we're in the presence of that same fire that Sayyidina Musa entered into by salah. It's our portal into the Divinely Presence at every salah. Because this is the salah, this is the prayer of Muhammad and Muhammadiyah. All other nations didn't have that salah because they yet did not testify to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad until when? Until the Isra. All their salah was an imitated salah to one day be brought into that presence. And Allah gave to the nation there that they are the ones who make the real salah in the way and in the direction of Allah that gives to us spelling Ahmad, standing Alif. Ruku ha in their sujood meem and in tahiyyat dal. That Allah everything about the reality of their salah is entering into that light and into that Divinely Presence. And when they face the fire it's an Allah that within the heart of that light is a fire. That same very fire that spoke to Sayyidina Musa 
Ummatul Muhammad achieved that in every salah. Immense, immense reality that as soon as they enter into their salah Prophet is present with them. The light of Prophet is all encompassing around them. Allah gives to us that say, As Salaamu Alaykum Ayyuha Nabi and that Divinely fire in the heart of Prophet the very fire which Nabi Musa saw is the Divinely speech of Allah speaking to the servant. Means the immensity is somebody has to contemplate, the tongue doesn't have the ability to convey and to speak of, of something like this. Only through the tafakkur they can understand that when we pray, where are we praying? What is the gift that Allah gave? In whose company are we praying? And in that immense reality that all nations were hoping and praying to achieve, Allah gave to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad the nation on directly attached to the Sultanate of Prophet Means this is the honour and the immense blessings for this nation. And that's why only Allah come into our lives and teach, your life is for tashrif. That glorify Allah and raise and, and, and teach this earth about the magnificent status of Sayyidina Muhammad This is the greatest honour in life. This is the greatest purpose in life. There may be many purposes but the greatest purpose is to exonerate or to teach the world about the greatness of the station of Sayyidina Muhammad and that how to enter into that reality, how to be dressed by that reality. Every durood the sharif is a opening into that reality, means everything that Allah gave to us is the ability to achieve and to win. That even Prophet teaches for us that if you just make one salawat upon me this portal opens for you and my presence comes to give ten praisings and prayers upon you. Means these are immense lights, immense blessings. That if we want the beauty of Sayyidina Yusuf then it's the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad that comes within the heart of the servant makes them to be beautiful. You want to become Kalimullah, well then where is that? And that's this is these knowledges is enter into the heart of Prophet the one whom will be speaking to you is Allah Almighty. For if the heart of Prophet speaks to you Allah has spoken to you. For if the soul and the eyes and the nazar of Prophet should look to you, Allah has seen you. If the hand of Prophet should reach to you, Allah's hand has touched you. These are the deep realities of tariqah, why we take bayat with the shaykh? Inna ladina yubayyunaka yubayyunullah. What's the nut that said, as soon as I heard that ayatul kareem, I understood who you are. Means to touch the hand of Prophet is to touch the hand of Allah. Allah's words in Qur'an. Means these are the immensities of these realities and that when we seek out the ulul amr in our life they are the, the dress and the blessings and the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad As we draw near to them we draw near to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And then the same can be said that when they look, they look with the eyes of Prophet upon people. From their hands touching from the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad and from their speech taking from the speech of Sayyidina Muhammad 
So then these are not regular associations, these are the associations of the khawas, the people of tafakkur whom Allah said at the beginning, none will know these realities except the people of tafakkur. So it's not a, a rule, it's not a… It's not for the masses but for the people of accept, accept a few means that these are the exceptional people whom Allah has granted this audience, granted these realities, granted these blessings and these opportunities. And all of this for us to understand what we've been given. That in these days when we meditate in the, in the days of Rabbil Awal and the celebration of the birth of Prophet and all that's been taught to us about these portals, these lights, this fire, this Divinely Grace. So all of these Ya Rabbi have given to me but yet I'm fixated on what I want. I'm upset and emailing the nothing opening for me, things are difficult for me, all the… all the… The things that we want block us from the understanding of what Allah wanted and what Allah granted. And they come to the Divinely the Presence and instead of receiving the treasures of the Divinely the Presence they ask for the garbage of dunya. And the garbage of dunya is an allurement for them and distraction for them for what Allah has truly given them. Says that you, you look to the down when I'm giving you from the heavens, that when I'm granting you from all these paradise realities and that you should be in continuous sujood and thanking me, thanking me every night and every day that I granted you this audience, you granted me this opportunity, you granted me this love within my heart Ya Rabbi. And always a reminder for myself and all whom are following that try not to be distracted by the things we want and to remember what Allah has given to us, what Allah has blessed us with and that we have to put it into action. We have to use it before we lose it. If we don't use this love, nurture this love, develop this love and this opportunity then there's a potential of losing that opportunity in which the love goes, the reality leaves and the person walks away from the path and didn't truly understand what was given, didn't truly understand the opportunities that were to be achieved. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensities of these lights and to grant us this fire and this reality of ta'seen within our hearts, within our family and within our community's hearts. That Allah accept our prayers and du'as that Ya Rabbi from our hearts to grant that fire into the hearts of all whom we love and all of our communities inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad and Mustafa. بسير سورة الفاتحة This is the importance of the hadiyah, the gift and the relationship that the student makes with the teachers because the teacher gives back the best of what he has. He's not going to give you from physical things. But when the student makes their approach and begins to develop their love for the teacher, it's a love for that Divinely fire and that presence and the representation of what they represent from the Muhammadan reality. And what the student prays for in every association distant or present is that a piece of that fire enter into the student's heart. And it's when they have sincerity and they show their ishq, they show their sincerity. That's what people don't understand. People focus maybe on other things and other actions and maybe the shaykh comes third, fourth and fifth in line. But the achievement of that fire, what Nabi Musa was teaching, I'm going to the fire to get news and maybe a, a warmth I will bring back means they are custodians of that fire. They're not only teaching it to you like a trained parrot, 
But as a reality they're custodians of that fire. As you approach to them, develop the relationship with them, you follow their understandings and their teachings, then what is it that they give to you in their prayers? Is a piece of that fire. They are up this person is sincere, this person is struggling, this person is continuously approaching, grant from our heart this fire into their heart. Because anyone who comes towards a physical fire is hoping to take away some of that flame when they go and take it back into their homes to be nurtured within their families and their lives. But they're distracted by other issues and other things and things they think they can do and charities they can do and actions they can do. When in fact your target should be to reach that flame and that you take back from the shaykh's heart a piece of that flame to take back into your homes and into your lives and into your environments. And that was the importance of the shaykh. This was the importance of the holy companions. What was their relationship? Their life and death in the presence of Prophet The focus in their life was to keep the khudur and nabi As a result of that khudur and that presence they all took back a flame within their heart and as a result they all became lit. And then what Prophet described of them, follow any of my companions they're like stars on a dark night. Why? Because he is the one with the fire and he's the star maker. So anyone whom approaches that reality is going to pick up that fire and take it back into their homes and into their environments. The same is the understanding for the shiuks and the guides that they take from the heart of Prophet this fire they become lit and as a result they're like stars anyone whom approaches to them a khidmat and a service towards them. The greatest achievement is if they can take a fire back from the heart of the shaykh to be lit with good character, good manners, good love, good respect. All of that enables the servant to catch fire. So when we say that the servant is, has caught fire means that their actions were so sincere and the direction was understood, their khidmat to the shaykh was accomplished that they took back a flame and lit the eternal flame within their hearts. And this was the way of Prophet the holy companions and tabi'een, they served the sahabi, tabi tabi'een they served the tabi'een. And this is wajib al-takhleed from Ahl Sunnah of Fiqh. This is the mandatory obligation of takhleed to follow. But these are the realities of following is that we follow not to, to do different things only and to do different services and those services is what will grant us this fire. Those services show that you're sincere. But where are you going to take that flame from? In the hamburger you gave out? No that gives you sincerity. But the stick you have that you want to catch a fire from is not from the hamburger you gave out but from the heart of the shaykh you're trying to get close to. As a result you're putting your your love and your action towards them under their nazar, they're looking at you, looking at you, looking at you and as a result your stick, your reality becomes lit and they take that back into their realities and into their home and very few accomplish that. The shaykh may have many, many students but only a few whom really understood the reality and achieved the reality. It's not the, this reality on every corner, means that they may have many things on the corner but these realities are, are few and far between. Even within the tariqahs and the titles of tariqah very few achieve these levels and these realities in which their life of service their heart became lit 
and they endured what they had to endure and they took home to themselves and to their communities an immense flame. And Mawlana Shaykh would describe they're going to be stars on a dark night because in Arabic dark is zulm. When the zulm begins to cover the earth it's only at that time people will understand whose heart is lit, whose heart was fake and whose heart was lit and what type of light and energies they have and they're capable of. We pray that Allah dress us from this love and this ishq and that this reality of taseen that enter within our hearts. Nobody talks of this, Muhammad Muhammad al-Mustafa Basiri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.